Hi, VIPs. Hope you guys are having a good day. I wanted to come on because I have a party tonight and I'm going to be doing my makeup. So I thought I would come on and do a little tutorial. Some of you have asked me about our brand new Vera palette. So if you have this palette, uh, then you can know a few of the different looks that you can create with it. Um, or if you just like to learn about different eyeshadows, um, obviously you might have some of these colors already. Uh, but this is a really, really pretty palette for fall, especially because there's some just really nice, um, you know, warm shades in there. Hey, so there's there's three shadows that are matte and then three that are shimmery. As you know, I like to balance mine. I don't like to do all shimmer at once. So I'm gonna, I've created three different looks that I'm really quickly gonna show you guys. Um, and then when this video is done, I will put in the um, description the, uh, the colors again. So you can go back and if you have this, you can create it yourself. So this again is six different palettes, sorry, six different shadows. Um, for, so again, at Sephora or anything like that, this would be over $60, at least $50. Um, this one's $40, uh, but it's still a deal even Alouette-wise because one of our eyeshadows to buy individually, if you were to re... Uh, what's it called? Refill. Thank you. Uh, one of your compacts that you already have, it's $15 just for one. So it's still a steal within Alouette to have a really high pigmented, really good quality, mineral, vitamin infused makeup that... Again, it's on trend and super cute. So I have baby wipe here, a natural baby wipe. So I'm going to be um, baby wiping my eyeshadow off each time so you can kind of see as much as possible the actual shadows in action with the each looks, the three looks that I'm doing. So the first look I'm going to do is a very, very natural look. It's actually just with like the two of the different shades. So we're going to do is effortless flow. So this one is going to go all over the eye. So you can see here, obviously it's a really pretty uh, highlighter as well. So you could definitely just use it as a highlight, but if you put this all over your lid, it'll give you a really bright, really bright color and open up your eyes. Again, I'm only really using it once because these are so pigmented. And just to mention too, because I don't think I really talked about it, um, this palette came out before my summer open house and I wore it all day and I had no creasing which was amazing don't mind my wonky eyelashes <laughs> I got these done before I went to Portugal in July and there's still half of them are not half just a few are hanging on for dear life so they're just kind of a little crazy right now so don't don't look at those okay so effortless effortless glow all over then you're gonna do a fresh start which is kind of like a latte it actually looks like my it's like a latte <laughs> my I was gonna say my uh, nails but my nails are a little darker than the latte but this one's a really nice one so this one's good for the contour right here okay for like an everyday just going to work or going out and you don't want to look like you have a lot on but just enough this one is the natural look number one okay so that is just with the two basically those two right there first row Effortless, effortless glow and to a fresh start. Okay. So my next look, actually, I'm just going to add the fresh start all over. So I'm going to cover up the highlight that I did. We're going to add it all over. I'm really, really liking this compact. So this is just kind of making it a little bit more, you can just kind of see the shadow a little bit more, right? And we're still keeping the highlight as the effortless glow. And then we're gonna go in and do engaging. Sorry, I lied, sorry, I'm writing, I had them written down. We're gonna do outgoing, this one here. Outgoing is now gonna be the contour because that's going to be the balance between the shimmer and the matte and also give it a nice little color punch it's really pretty it has like it's more copper if you can see individually this one's more copper so if you have green eyes blue eyes um, this copper color really makes your eyes pop okay so this one's a really nice color 
obviously for all, but especially if you have those color eyes, it would make them pop a little bit more. Um, you guys know my trick that if you have your eyeliner brush, any of the darker colors that you do in the contour, you would just take it and you can also bring it underneath and it'll give it a nice little pop of color underneath the eye as well. So you can do that with um, either of those or even this down to, down to earth one would look nice too, but I like the look of the shimmer. If there's any fallout, just take your fluffy brush. Okay, so I can't even see, oh my gosh, I'm doing this literally just on my camera here. Always blend, make sure it's blended so it doesn't look like you have three colors on. There you go. A little bit better okay do you guys like that one I think that one's really pretty so that one's kind of like a medium kind of color so this would be like if you're comfortable wearing makeup night out maybe you're got a brighter lip on and you want your eyes to kind of just look like you have some makeup on but nothing crazy but nice fall look that would be the three colors that you would use effortless glow to fresh starts and outgoing okay now Third, I might actually do four looks just because I kind of combined one of the other ones. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this off. I think we got it all off. Let me just check here. Yeah. Okay, so the other one that I want to show you is you can then do always, I like as the highlight, especially in this palette, the Effortless Glow. So I'm just wiping off my brush here. So just go back in with the Effortless Glow. Make sure you get a little bit in the corner here. Really makes the eyes pop. Okay. And then you go in with the Never Fussy, which is like a nice kind of um, dusty rose kind of color. So pretty. So you go in with the Never Fussy. Super pretty okay so you go in with that one all over and then as the highlight or sorry as the contour for the darker one you go with the down down to earth with a little bit darker if you want it not as smoky and more lighter then just use one of these eyeshadows you could use my alarm on my phone um the engaging or the outgoing so again in your crease here like a sideways V, just kind of back and forth like a windshield wiper and just blend it. So this would be more smoky, dinner night out, something like that. <laughs> I'm going to be on tomorrow night at 7 for my September mystery hostess party. We have a really good BOGO on for September. And also, if you haven't um, seen it yet, Alouette is, like corporate Alouette is doing a contest for you guys, the customers, for every single order that you order in September, you get entered into a draw. And they're doing um, weekly, weekly draws for like tons and tons of different things. Some of them are over like $500 worth of product um, giveaways and, and products and things like that. So definitely don't miss out um, to be entered into that draw as well too. So. This was kind of the smokier look. So it was the never fussy all over. So the lighter pink one all over, the down to earth in the crease, and then the effortless glow. I'm just gonna show you the different angle here so you can see, because sometimes it's weird. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped my phone, sorry. I'm having one of those days. Okay, so you can kind of see what that one looks like as well too. Super, super pretty. I still have to do my foundation and blush and all the rest. I just thought I'd start with the eyes since I'm doing this for my party tonight and I wanted to show you because some of you asked for a tutorial. So there you go. Like I said, I will post the, uh, the actual shades in the description here so you can go back and try it if you have this as well. Um, now if you're into eyeliner, you would wanna do eyeliner on the bottom or even on the top a little bit and that would complete it a little bit more but that's kind of just to keep it short and sweet, the eyeshadow colors and the four different looks that I did. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon and I'll see you tomorrow.